we're sitting just above the village of Charlotte Pass in Kosciuszko National Park. Uh, and this is a place that I've been working, doing research and teaching in for about the past 20 years. What's really caught my attention at the moment is thinking about the mountains in a changing climate. And the plants and animals that are found here, many of them are not found anywhere else. They're not found at lower elevations. Many of them require snow to complete their life cycle. So one of the things that, that I think we don't realize is how much the microenvironment, the space around a plant can change over the course of, of a day or even minutes. The temperature, for example, of a leaf as the sun rises will go from negative two to 25 degrees. So it goes from really cold and frozen to really quite warm. And then if the sun shines on it, it'll get much hotter than the temperature of the air or anything else around it. And to me, that's really fascinating that you've got an organism that can alter its temperature so dramatically over such a short period of time. If you think about us, we don't change temperature, whereas these things are capable of doing that repeatedly over really quick timescales. So in 2020, there are several things that happened that have caused us to stop, reevaluate, and think carefully about what we need to do next and how we want to go forward. It began with the bushfires and the bushfires meant that, that my team had to really rethink what they were going to do because we couldn't, we couldn't get into our field sites uh, for quite a long time and some of the places that, that we were working or planning to work uh, were fire affected. Then there was a hailstorm in Canberra that took out all of our glass houses and with it experiments that we'd been working on for three years that were within a few months of completion, and all of that was before the pandemic. I think for me, 2020 was about really paring things back, really thinking about priorities and um, thinking about what, what are the important things to keep going and to maintain. I was particularly struck by the impact that, that this event will have on the coming generation and really thinking about how it changes the way we need to train and educate and prepare the next generation for, for future unexpected events. I think 2020 has demonstrated to all of us that really extreme things can come out of the blue and that one of the few things you can predict is that there's going to be a lot of unpredictable stuff happening over the coming years. And so to me, it's been about thinking, what is the baseline? What is the information that we need to be monitoring so we can detect change and think about how we're gonna manage and respond and try to maintain the values of these spectacular landscapes. And on the more personal side, it's, it's really about thinking about how do we make sure that, that the next generation has the tools that they need to come up with creative solutions for unpredictable problems.